The time is 3 p.m. Access. Hey everyone, you're listening to Music Access with me, Aaron of New East. We're beginning the second hour of the show for Sunday, April 14th, 2013. And the first song we heard was Sway by the Pussycat Dolls. Great song, by the way. On Sundays, we will be finding out what our pop stars have been up to with Weekly Pop Magazine. We have another good-looking stud, David, who will be joining us in the studio with all the latest updates in just a bit. I'd love to hear back from you guys, so here's how you can participate. Come visit our website at www.idangradio.com and look for music access. You can leave your questions, comments, and song requests on our message board. Here's how you can listen to us. You can download the Arirang Radio smartphone application or visit us at www.arirangradio.com and listen to us in real time through your computers. We're also available on Terrestrial DMB and if you're on Jeju Island, tune in to us at 88.7 in Jeju City, 88.1 in Seogipo City, and 101.9 in the Daejeon area. 
And before we invite David in for the weekly Pop Magazine Corner, let's listen to a song, If I Had You, by Adam Lambert. Curious about all the latest celebrity gossip and news? Don't search the web. Just ask our Sunday stud, David, on Weekly Pop Magazine. Hey, David. Uh, great to have you here in the studio. I am Aaron of New East, and it's uh, nice to meet you. Hey, Aaron. What's up? It's good to be here. Um, do you want to maybe give a quick introduction to yourself to our uh, listeners? Sure thing. Quick introduction. Well, I'm from New Zealand. And New mm. Zealand is this beautiful country where hobbits run free and elves <laughs> frolic in the woods. Uh, true story. Um, yes, and now I'm living in Korea. Okay. And I'm not going to lie, when you walked in, I thought an actor was walking into the studio. Uh, you don't, you're, not, you're not an actor, are you? A model? No? Um, you're too kind, but yes, a model. A model? <laughs> yes, on my free weekends, I like to strut my stuff. <laughs> 
And I think we'll have a lot of lady fans joining us for this corner. And okay, let's take a look at the hot celebrity gossip and news from this week. And what are we going to be talking about first, David? First, we're going to be talking about Paramore's new album. They just released it this week. Uh-huh. I mean, it's been four Dude. years. Four years. Yeah, four wow. years. And right now, there's only three of them. They lost two of their members. You know, wow. those band splits, they're never pretty. Could you ever imagine your boy band splitting up? No, I actually... No, no, no. no <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't want to imagine something like that. They lost their uh, best guitarist and drummer. Wow. Yeah, so kind of messy, but they're coming back. Uh, they've got 17 songs on their new album. 17 songs? 17 songs. Wow. And I listened to a couple of songs myself. I listened to Now, Still Into You. I mean, lyrically, they're, uh, they're typical of just, you know, punk rock, about uh, love, right. hate, rebellion. Uh, but musically, I would say it's another level, uh, uh, especially with the drumming and the electric guitar. I mean, it's funny. I've read some articles where people said, oh, the drumming, the guitar, it's another level. But, you know the two band members left and they're guitarists and drummers so it's like ouch (laughs) (laughs) so it seems like the band is coming in strong with their new album um the industry projection is 110,000 albums they think will sell by the first tracking week wow 110 110,000 that seems like a lot but you know the industry projection what they saw last year oh not last year but with their last album they saw 175,000 175,000 oh yeah, so they so actually drop right right so uh, they haven't seen it yet but they're hoping to see about 110,000 110,000 you know but the question is do you think they'll be able to do better than Justin Timberlake ooh, ooh that's a hard one I'm actually not sure not sure M- me neither but a lot of people are saying that they are capable I mean you never know what's gonna happen you know right right we'll just have to wait and see won't we we will and is there is there a particular reason why they I guess took a hiatus of four years before coming in with their new album right? hiatus four years i think maybe it's because to do with a lot of the band splitting up i guess they're they're working very differently different dynamics i mean i heard that the guitarist and drummer they had a problem with the lead singer uh. saying she was making it all about herself writing the songs about herself and oh, all no. the focus was going to her so i guess the dynamic would have changed so in the four years they would have had to adapt um come up with creative ways to make their sound more unique better yeah no no Yes, no, sad cause, thing. <clears throat> I mean, I'm part of a team too, so I mean, yeah, one of the things that a team can't do is fight amongst each other, right, you know? Right, You guys have to just always keep supporting each other, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And you d- no fighting. <laughs> that's, no that's fighting. That's yeah, no it, fighting. That's yeah, that's it. And you know what? Let's be honest. The singer's going to get a lot of attention. That's true. Um, I mean, I'm a drummer myself, and uh-huh. as a drummer, I realize that the singer does get all the looks. That's true. And all the signatures. But, you know, that's just the way it is. You just got to handle it. That's true. And David, for this week, what is our second topic? Second topic is about Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Now, Rocco put out a new song called U-O-E-N-O, and Rick Ross, he wrote a verse to it. Now, within the verse, there is kind of some uh, things that has offended a lot of women. Oh. In general, it's about talking about like um, alcohol and some naughty things, and oh. a lot of people are offended right now. And if you didn't know, actually, Rick Ross, is he's partnered up with Reebok. Oh yeah, he's, so he's got his own line of shoes. Oh, so he's basically sponsored by Reebok. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So people are saying Reebok, you gotta, you gotta not work with this guy, because oh. as long as you work with him, you're supporting the things that he believes in. Wow. So they've been campaigning, petitioning. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty crazy, actually. Um, I mean, I, I honestly can't say much about it because it's kind of a controversial issue. Mm. I don't want to put myself out yeah, there, like. Yeah this is wrong or this is right. Mm. I don't want to like put my foot down on one standpoint. Right. Mm. But the people campaigning, they got their way because Reebok has chosen not to work with them anymore. They have. Yeah, so they're going to shut down all their contracts with them. Wow. Uh, the rapper actually did tweet that he is sorry for the language that he used and he wasn't referring to such things that people <sighs> are suggesting. Um, but I think he's realizing that sometimes sorry is just not enough. That's true. Yes. All right. And I am curious about our next news, but we will come back after listening to two more songs. Still Into You by Paramore and Touch In You, Rick Ross featuring Usher.